this Cuban immigrant who came to America with nothing and now lives here. The house is uh, over 18,000 square feet. How'd he go from scrubbing toilets to being rich as Joan will find out. It's about how people in this day and age with a good idea and a lot of work can still have the American dream and how they spend it and the silly dumb things that they do with it and sometimes the crazy ways that they made it. It's a lot of fun, but it's also very aspirational. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. You have the bathtub in the bedroom. Very Las Vegas. Yes, yes. very. Yes. Very hot. Do you have a good sex life? <laughs> is it though, how'd you get so rich as your new show? Yes, brand uh -huh. new show. All about people who uh, can All make a lot of money? Pe people who have made it the good old hard American way from nothing. It's an amazing show. Uh -huh. Like like sort of like Sarah Palin-ish. Uh, well, no, but she made it, God knows, <laughs> not on brains. But, uh, it, it's, uh, people but in this economy, Joan, isn't that a little bit, uh, what do you think about it? Is, is it appropriate? Oh, uh, totally. Yeah? Because it's about, I don't want to hear, oh, I can't. These are people that one man started working at seven mowing lawns, another man started at 11, didn't have water in his house, and they had ideas. Mm -hmm. And they had work ethic, and they had the American dream. How'd you get so rich? We are going to visit a man who is worth 50 million plus. He's in an 8,000 square foot mansion, and he's on two man-made lakes. And you know how he got all this money? He got it by making teeth. Hello. Serious? Teeth. You know, we're all ugly teeth. Everybody out there, if you have a child, don't send it to college. <laughs> You're wasting your damn money. <laughs> this guy made Billy Barclay a uh, joke, and uh, people laughed, and he made more. And he's now, and he's a wonderful man, uh, Jonah White, and he made millions on Billy Bob T. Still, a lot of American dreamers out there. Here's his house. He has the biggest log cabin. They all spend their money differently. Here he is showing uh, different kinds of Billy Bob teeth. Oh my goodness. You can Billy get Bob with cavity. cavities, you can get with abscesses. What, what yeah. do you think of that look for you? I Listen, this hasn't done me much good. I'm willing to try to look. How do you get so rich? It's on Viacom's TV Land. Finds host Joan Rivers asking that question as she finds out how some men and women made it big. Here to tell us how they got so rich are two men featured on the show. Robert Zarko is a founding partner of the law firm Zarko Einhorn Zalkowski and Brito. I hope I did that justice. Right. And Gary Clegg is the inventor of the Slanket and the owner of Slanket Loungeon. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Alexis. All right, Robert, so um, I'm, I'm going to do a little Joan. How did you get so rich? Well, it all started when I was seven years old. I started a little landscape business uh, with a partner uh, that we worked on for about a year. By the time I was eight years old, I bought him out and decided to start buying my own equipment. And I developed it for a period of about 12 years. And during that time, I had saved an awful lot of money. In fact, by the time I was 15 years old, I had saved about $50,000. And mind you, this is 35 years ago. <gasps> At which point, two years later, I went ahead and bought myself a two-bedroom, two-bath condominium on the water in North Miami Beach. I rented it out as income uh, revenue generating property. I proceeded to then uh, go to Harvard University where I was studying economics. During that time, I cleaned toilets. I cleaned sinks. I was, in essence, the dorm janitor. Uh, because it was the highest paying job on campus and while I was doing that I was also a guard at a um, uh, at one of the museums Wow! and then after that I proceeded to work for General Motors and then I went to get my MBA and frankly uh, I've become a lawyer since then and developed a particular area of law a particular niche in franchising franchising and licensing representing the underdog the little guy and I've been doing it for 25 years, and we've developed one of the largest franchise practices in the United States. Wow, what a story. Gary, let me get to your story, because I don't want to run out of time here. Uh, you created the Slanket. I mean, for, well, I should say, how did you get so rich? Tell me the story. Uh, of course. Well, I'm the underdog, so I, he, he should uh, represent me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was 17 years old, a freshman in college in the University of Maine, a uh, history journalism student with no uh, idea what to do with my life. Um, and I was uh, beneath my blanket and my remote control wouldn't work from beneath the blanket. 
Uh, so I cut a hole in my blanket just to poke the remote through so I could uh, change uh, channel surf during commercials of Conan O'Brien. <laughs> and with that little um, action, start a brainstorm process, we created the blanket with sleeves, which has now, which you know, been a cultural own, uh, phenomenon. Which my floor manager, director here, is, uh, it, he has it on, that's our old Nat Candido. So, so Gary, what has this turned into now? Well, you know, we, we've been selling for many years, um, five and a half years, uh, all over the world, 40 different countries, distributors everywhere. Um, I have big uh, business with QVC, and, and they're a great, great company. They really gave me my big break like three years ago. Um, and so now it's a, it's a global business and now more of a manufacturing company. So it's not just uh, this product. 